Good evening, YouTube, Booktube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video. It is a Friday here in West Michigan. It is a Friday night. It is September the 27th. It is 9.08 at night. Here we're having a thunderstorm. It is raining, raining, and raining. So, yesterday I mowed the lawn, the front and the back. And surprisingly, my, I'm not too sore. Maybe the Lord is healing me of my aff affliction. As you all know, in August, I, I damaged my arm in moving a bookshelf with our oldest son, Caleb. And uh, But I think maybe slowly I'm being healed. So I thought I'd make a Friday Reads, but really... Uh, what I thought I'd do is, is uh, show you what today is a Friday. You all know that on Fridays I volunteer at the library, use bookstore, the book nook, and I usually bring home a bunch of books. But first of all, yesterday was a Thursday, and I trapped another chipmunk in our garage. I have a I have a trap that I bought from Amazon a couple of years ago when we were inundated with chipmunks. A couple of years ago, I don't know how many years ago, in one summer I, tra I trapped 16 chipmunks. But the last couple of years, maybe, I think I'm up to six right now. And pretty soon they'll be hibernating. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep... If I see a bunch of chipmunks in our garage, then I trap them. Uh, we also been getting field mice, and I've been catching those, a couple of those. Because uh, we were down the lower level cleaning out a, a, a closet underneath our stairs, and there was a pile of... Sunflower shuck seal, uh, seeds where they had been eating field mice or some little creature. <laughs> so my wife uh, wanted to make sure that we can get rid of them. And enough of that. So for, uh, so Thursday I took the chipmunk to be to a field uh, next to a Goodwill store. Not not north side but just near where we live and I found these uh, used books. I found this book, uh, I like books on economics and, uh, and I found this interesting book called Debt the First 5,000 Years by David Graeber. It has, it has uh, Financial Times, fresh, fascinating, thought-provoking, exceedingly timely. Yeah, he all he looks at 5,000 years of the idea of debt. <laughs> and uh, I read about 13 pages of it Thursday, and I don't know, it looked kind of interesting. I collect books, like I said, on economics, economists, capitalism, things like that. So I got that. And then I picked up this book I had already in a hardback. But this is only 60 cents, and I I don't know. I kind of like the cover. It's called The Robert By Byron's Classic Account of the Influential Capitalists Who Transform America's Future. This is by Matthew Josephine. I have a biography on Matthew, Matthew Josephine, too, in our library. He also I have a biography that he wrote on Strindale. So... Yeah, I got this. You know, the robber barons, you know who they are. G.P. Morgan, John D. Rockefeller, uh, Andrew Carnegie, Gornias Vanderbilt, Jay Gould, E.H. Harriman, Henry Clay Frick. Those are the, the robber barons around the Gilded Age time period in American history. And then uh, I picked up this biography on Lady Astor. The story of Lady Astor is called Nancy by An Andrian Fort. She uh, has, is a, was a very fascinating person, Nancy Astor. She became the first woman member of parliament. Uh, she was an American. She moved to 
She was divorced. She came from a very wealthy family in Virginia. She moved with her younger sister and her son to England and she married the Astor, who was a very wealthy man. And she had lived a very interesting life. And uh, so I picked this up, a biography. And then I, I was reading in that Cold Warriors, the writers of the Cold War about the Second World War and the British intelligence and breaking the, the code of the Nazis. And I found a book on that. Battle of Wits, a complete story of code breaking and World War II by Stephen Budskaski. Uh, so this is on that whole, the whole, uh, how they broke the code of the Nazis and the British intelligence. So I got this. And then I picked this book up. I don't know. I kept looking at it. I'm not really into hunting, but it had a little bit about oh American Indians and this whole idea about hunting. I don't know. Like it was only sixty cents. It's called Heart Blood Hunting, Spirituality and Wildness in America by David Peterson. I don't know. I collect books on nature, Indians. I looked through it and I don't know. Parts of it interest me and I just thought I'd look I'd just check it out. And then I picked up at the Goodwill, Dungeon, Fire, and Sword, The Knights Templar in the Crusades by John J. Robinson. I collect books on the medieval history and monasticism, the Crusades. So I picked this one up. It seems to be, have been an older book. I think it first was published in... I don't really know. Maybe it was published in 1991. This edition published in 1999. But, uh, I don't know. It could be a, a newer book, but I picked this up. And then my wife picked, got me this book. Uh, there's a little library box down the street. And she brought home, you know, we trade. I put some books. She takes books up there and she brings books back, and she brought uh, Ted Hughes' Selected Poems, 1957 to 1994. I, I have the birthday party by Ted Hughes, and, you know, he was married to Sylvia Path, who committed suicide, and I didn't have the, his, this one in, in our poetry collection, so I got it. Now, this is the books I got at the Book Nook today, the library used bookstore. I brought home Linda Davies' uh, story collection, Samuel Johnson, in Indignant. Now, this is what I read today at the Book Nook when I was there. I read this, and then I read this book that I had gotten in the mail yesterday, The Post-Human Dada Guide by Andrea Kurusko. And I was reading this, and I read this at the Book Nook today. So I got, I collect the, Lydia Davis, she does, she's translated uh, Faubert's Madame Bouvier out of French into English. I have a whole stack of her writings on my, in our collection, but I didn't have this collection of her short stories. And then I picked up at the book nook today, Joseph Campbell. I have a lot of his writings. This is the Romance of the Grail. Magic and Mystery of Aetherian Myth. It's like author, King Author and the Round Table. It's Joseph Campbell looking at it. I have a whole stack of books on the Holy Grail and King Author and the King Author Myth and that whole thing. So I got this today. And then I picked up The Warriors of God, Richard the Lionhearted. So, so, Saladin in the Third Crusade by John Reeston Jr. I had this already. I didn't. I wasn't sure. So I'll probably take this back Monday or put it in the roving library in the van. It was only a dollar. This book. And then I have picked up today at the Book Nook. The Perfect Heresy: The Revolutionary Life and Death of the Medieval Carthars by Stephen O'Shea. I didn't, I have another book of his in our library. Uh, 
I can't remember exactly what it was. I think it's called... I know, I have another book of his. Maybe it's his book on the First World War. But I can't remember right now which one I have by Stephen O'Shea. But when I cataloged this in my library thing, I had another book by him. This is a book, this is a, this, the, uh, the best of Wilcott Gibbs. He wrote uh, the theater entertainment in the New Yorker for many years. And these are like from selections of his writings from the New Yorker. And the best, backward ran sentences, the best of Wilcott Gibbs from the New Yorker. Wilcott, w Wilcott Gibbs. So I, it only cost me a dollar for this. And then I picked up this biography. I collect books on New, on New York City, the history of New York City, you know, the art scene, literary scene, just New York City, you know, American history. This is called The Measure of Manhattan, The, the Tumultuous Career and Surprising Legacy of John Randall, Jr., Cartographer, Surveyor, and Inventor by Mark. Greta, Mar Greta Holloway. So I don't know. It looked kind. Of, it was it was two dollars, but I don't know. I, I put it in my New Yorker City collection. So I got that, and then I got this book on Gertrude Stein, very famous American, uh, lived in Paris, was friends with Hemingway, James Joyce. Uh, all the great literary figures of Paris in the 20s and 30s and the 40s. This is called Gertrude Stein in Words and Pictures, the Salon, Paris, Famous Friends, Alice B. Tokus, Paintings, Wars, The Lost Generation and a Lifelong Passion for Sentences with 360 photographs. There's all kinds of photographs of that time period that Gertrude Stein lived in and you know all by Gertrude Stein and as you all know I've shown I had a video of I have a huge Gertrude Stein collection I don't know she just kind of interests me as a literary figure her love for art her love for literature and she just was a fascinating woman so I got that so that's what I got at the Book Nook. That's what I got at the local Goodwill store. These will all go down the lower level tonight. Get them out of the living room. And I'll keep, the, you know, I am reading this. And I'm not going to read any more of Linda Davies, but I just want to show this. I read some short stories out of here today for Friday Reads. Yeah, I've been re I read, uh, I also have been reading today Against Memoirs by Michelle T. Her little essays, and so I was reading that. And I, I read most of this yesterday, uh, Fellow Passengers, a novel and portraits by Louis Ackenclaus. I'm almost done with this. I've got a couple more chapters and I'll be done. And then I've been reading, probably read throughout the weekend. Doc's Newbury Port by Lucy Elman. Oh, this is a book I was going to show with my uh, Gertrude Stein book. This is one my last book before that one I got today. This is Two Lives, Gertrude and Alice by Jeanette Malcolm. This is kind of like um, a little portrait of Gertrude and Alice de P I have like I said, I have a huge stack of Gertrude Stein books, her writings, biographies, you know, all kinds. I've shown those in the past. Before I close, uh, I should mention my diary. We're coming to the end of September. Tomorrow's the 28th of September. Today, in my 2019 diary, I ended on page... Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> so tomorrow morning, if I don't die, or the Lord does comes in the night with the last trump, 
I'll be on page 778 tomorrow, which is Saturday, which will be college football. So, yeah, and um, Monday is the 1st of October. My wife will leave for a week. And so here we go again. Somebody noticed in my last video I was wearing a Boris t-shirt. Boris is a Japanese noise rock metal kind of band and I just thought I had I failed to mention that I went and saw Boris with our oldest son um, I was going to look at my diary exactly um, yeah it was on the 15th of September uh, my our oldest son who lives down the street, he called me up about 15 to 7 and said that dad, I had bought tickets for this to see Boris in Grand Rapids and that he, at that time, he had a, a couple were visiting them and the guy wanted to go see them, his name was John, and then the, there's a guy who lives across the street named Jordan who wanted to go, so Caleb bought tickets for all of us to go see Boris. Jordan was going to drive, and so at 7 o'clock on the 15th of September, we drove to Grand Rapids. We went to a, a rock nightclub called the Pyramid Scheme, and they, a group that opened up for them was called Uniform. I never heard of Uniform, but they were really a good, you know, death black metal, really loud. It was really a really nice club. It wasn't rowdy. People, there's no smoking allowed. There are a lot of older people, like in their 40s and 30s, people like me in their 60s. It wasn't crowded. There was no mosh pit. There was no, it was, it was just really, I was really surprised. The sound was incredible. It was really a great concert. And I really enjoyed it, uh, for what I remember of it. <laughs> but these are the Boris, I thought I'd just show you my Boris CDs. This is Boris Deer, and then you have Bor Sun, which is another band. This is a collaboration, a split with Boris called Alter. This is a Boris, this is their record Smile. And then you have Boris, their record Heavy Rocks. And then they did they did a split with a Japanese extreme avant-garde guitarist Japanese named Maritzbo Maritzbo. This is Boris Maritzbo, and they also did another one with him called Boris with Maritzbo. And then they did Boris with Michio Carrera. This is I think she's a Japanese avant-garde singer. I'm not really sure. But this is Rainbow, and this is Boris, and this one is called, oh, I can't remember what the title of it is, Espapago or something, and this is Boris, uh, no, this is Sun, this is a, this is a Sun, this is another group, this is Boris CD Noise. And this is Boris CD Pink. So I'm really into the... Boris has been around about 25 years. They're on a world tour. You know, they're traveling everywhere. I looked at their tour, and they're playing all over Europe, all over in Greece, and the Middle East, and Asia. They're just all over. But I've been into Boris for at least 25 years. As long as we've lived here. We've lived in Holland for 28 years. And I've been into them for a long time. So that's Boris. Yeah, somebody knows the Boris t-shirt. I bought another Boris t-shirt at the concert. So I wear it once in a while in the videos. So I hope you're having a good Friday. I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. I, I know that last video got us a negative downs, three thumbs down. I try sometimes to be spontaneous and do things that maybe are not normal for BookTube. I try to stretch the boundaries and sometimes I fail or people don't get it. And sometimes I do things to be 
I fall into a state of obscurity that everything just becomes kind of a big, you know, I don't know. I just, sometimes it's hard to take things seriously because I'm kind of cynical. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to make a video, do a Friday Reads, do a book haul, what I got at the book nook, what I'm reading, the music I like. I like Boris. Yeah, they have a new one coming out called Love, which is not on, it's only on vinyl, it's not on the CD, but I bought an MP3 and it'll be coming out, the new one called Love. So listen to Boris, hey, you know, get a glass of wine, light some candles, get dark and just put some, some Boris on and just rock on. So I hope you once again have a good weekend. Thank you for the comments and subscribers. Until next time, bye.